The new head of the European Medicines Agency has told Euronews that the body takes its responsibilities very seriously, which is why it's taking longer to approve the first COVID-19 vaccine. Ema Cook said the UK approval process came quicker as it used a temporary authorisation, while the EU nations would benefit from a full licence. Maeve McMahon reports. Who takes the responsibility anyway if there are side effects? We do have a process for what we call post-authorization follow-up. So to continue to uh, study the safety once it's been used in much higher populations than it was used in clinical trials. Uh, this is a responsibility on the companies. This is a responsibility on the member states. But we're also doing independent studies to make sure that we really cover all our bases. And that's a question that MEPs were asking you a little bit earlier today uh, in the European Parliament in the ENVI Committee is, do you have uh, sufficient data? The, the, the companies have studied more than 30,000 uh, subjects in clinical trials, uh, mainly adults and elderly, but also some, some patients with, with existing conditions. And uh, in terms of what we would normally expect for a vaccine, that's a very robust uh, data set. It's, it's a lot of people and we, we believe we can make conclusions based on that. And here at New York News, we've been out uh, speaking to people on the streets of Brussels about the vaccine. And a lot of people I spoke to said they might take the vaccine, but they do not want to be the first ones to do so. They're a little bit hesitant. What would your message be to them, Emer Cook? Well, I would say, actually, that's our job. Our job is to, is to assess uh, the safety, quality and efficacy of the vaccine. And this is a huge responsibility. We take this very seriously. Uh, we... We do have. We are the source of the of the data on this product. The, the, we know more about this than than anybody except the company. And if you are, if if people are concerned about it, we want to do whatever we can to make sure that you're happy, that you can trust the vaccine. That's our responsibility. So, would you take it, for example, live on TV, or should people like Ursula von der Leyen, the Commission President, take it live? I mean, we've seen that in in the United States, former president saying that they'll do it. Yeah, good idea. 